already is a demonstration on using SketchUp to do solid object uh, using the follow me function. Alright, we start the SketchUp, just a template. For this case, we are doing woodworking millimeters. Select millimeters, then start SketchUp. Alright, just remember your toolbar, what do we need? Getting started, last two set, style and views. Okay. First thing for revolving of a, a solid object, what we can do, we draw the path of rotation first. Let's say 10 mm radius. Right, we zoom in. Right, remove the surface. Then we are going to draw the cross sectional view of the object that we want to revolve around. Go to our region, we draw along the blue and red axis. Right, radius 3, comma 50. Right, zoom extend to see everything. Right, if we want to have a peg pointed at one, one side, what we do, we use a pencil tool, go to the end point, move down to the midpoint, which is shown in blue. Then we will erase the corner. Right, then we are going to re revolve this particular this particular surface one whole revolution. We use this, we are we will use the follow me function. Click on the surface to select the surface to extrude. Then follow along right, follow along the axis. Right, you see it start to revolve around it. Then until the end. And we get the historic object for the pack. Okay, this for the object. This is the first method for drawing a pack. Alright. Now let's select this one. Make into a component. Then we shift it to a side. 300 mm away. Now the second method for drawing the same pack. Pull out radius 3 and we push up the pack by 50. Right, this time around we are going to use the offset function right, to draw another smaller concentric circle from the side. Let's say we write uh, 2.5 mm from the side. See this small little circle that appear in the middle then we use the move function to move the external circle down right, let's select the circle again right, move it down along the blue axis you see the blue axis appearing then we type in 25 to the midpoint and we'll get the same effect similar to the one earlier Right, create yes as component. Right, move to the side again. Uh, 200. Now the third method, whereby we draw the pack. Pull out 3mm. Push up 50. Alright, we are going to cut, slice off one of the side. So what we do, we will draw a rectangle. Right, same size. Uh, this will be say 8 mm by 50. Right, then I'm going to cut a slope across. Erase the side. Then I'm going to push it up by 20 and we make it to a component. Make component. Right then we are going to shift this one to the edge. 
move it in a bit by 10 mm and move towards the other side by 6 mm alright we will see something like this maybe a bit more okay so we are here slicing off the side okay how to do that now we select both of them then we make use of the interface intersect face or with selection and what happens is that when we move out you see the line created by this one we can remove already and we're going to erase the circle on top and we get a pack if one of the side slice off and because this become a hollow object what we do we use the pencil to draw a line across then erase that line and we get a third pack okay then we make component again create and move to the right hand side by 100 where all three objects are there shift them closer by 70 and this one by 170 150 okay and we have all three different packs drawn within the same drawing okay that's all for the app for the the demonstration and if you want you want, want to save it as a different file name eeg okay then we can close and that's all for the app